Hello everyone, this will be an off-topic video about installing plugins to GIMP. GIMP, for those of you who don't know, is one of my favorite pieces of software in, in the world. It is, free, it is a free and open source alternative to Photoshop, and it's awesome. Anyway, I wanted to install a plugin for batch image manipulation, and it was just a little bit harder than I thought. I ran into a few dead ends, so I thought I would make this video. I just installed it on my desktop and now I'm going to install it on my uh, on my laptop here. So I, I found this uh, add 20 best free GIMP plugins. There's a lot of cool uh, image manipulation stuff that I will try later but for now here's the one that I want. A batch image manipulation plugin. It lets you process a whole bunch of images at the same time. For example, you took a whole bunch of pictures and they're each three megabytes, which is a little bit inconvenient to send to people, so you want to shrink them all with one command using GIMP. So let's go to their download page. Here we are, I don't know why that took so long. Installer for Windows or Download Sources. We will go to Download Sources. All right, not a virus. I always hate reading that when you're downloading stuff from the internet when it says not a virus. Anyway, we can go straight to the source code. Do we want a zip archive or a GZ archive? I don't think it matters. Okay. It has downloaded. So let's open this out, drag the file out. And we don't need that anymore. All right, so you may get here. This is uh, the non-technical person may get this far, and then you see this big file, and it's like, great. What do I do here? Big file with its own file structure. Oops, I didn't mean to zoom there. All right, so you may go back to the page from where you downloaded this plugin, and it says, follow the general instructions to install a plugin on GIMP. And you'll be like, great, that's exactly what I want. General instructions to install a plugin. All right, finding, this also does not do much to install your confidence if you follow this link. It's kind of a, a dead end. We need to create a completely different, much more secure solution. You're like, ah, great. You know, you, you run into things with this type of thing with free software because no one's being paid to maintain it. They're doing it out of the, you know, because they want to, because they, they need to write the solutions, they want coding practice, or they, they love the philosophy of free software. Anyway, extracting plugin packages. All right, there's a lot to read here. You may eventually get down this far. You Here, and it goes, you need to read the manual from the official site under this section, 3.1, installing new plugins. And you're like, oh great, you know, I just had a link to a help file, which links to another help file. Should I invest a bunch of time in reading this one? Should I go to the next one? It wasn't terribly hard, but but I thought I would might save some people a little time and trouble by making this video. So it turns out that the solution is here on this second one. And it says plugins fall into two categories, small ones who are distributed as single .c files. I don't think that's true anymore. I think now there are more Python files or uh, different script files which you just drop into your GIMP directory. Um, this is the part that helped me. This was the, the essential part. A 
oh no, this was the essential part right here, pardon me. For more complex plugins organized as a directory with multiple files, there ought to be a file inside called install or readme with instructions. If not, the best advice is to toss the plugin into trash and spend your time on something else. Any code written with so little concern for the user is likely to be frustrating in myriad ways. I think that is very true. And this little paragraph is what helped me. Okay, so we went from the instructions to these instructions to these instructions. And here it said, check out the readme file. And lo and behold, there is a readme file here. And these instructions do actually work. All right, you need to install these dependencies. Uh, and then uh, you just compile the code. And in this case, you don't have to drop this anywhere. You just compile the code here and it will install itself. Let's do that. Let's open up a terminal. Lib gimp 2.0 dash dev lib. Okay, and I think I'll pause the video here while I install this stuff. All right, so those libraries installed. And uh, next thing we want to do is get ready to do make and make install. Uh, that's if you're the only user on your computer. If you have a bunch of users or if uh, you don't want the, you know, you want to give a user by user permissions, then you, you do this part here. But let's first... Uh, change directory and what, what did I call that folder GIMP plugin all right so that's this same folder here now uh, before I uh, before I do whoops sudo make Uh, make install you want to be careful about downloading software running software that you download from the internet uh, it's encouraging that this is a uh, is a SS is a HTTPS uh, and it's encouraging that it, it's from a, a the download source is a github repository that has at least a little bit of traction and also that this is just a this particular page is linked to from all over the place so so that's that's good enough for me right now on this particular computer so when I ran make and make install on my desktop computer I got a whole bunch of warnings and I thought it might not work but in fact it did I expect the same thing to happen here. We don't need this readme file anymore. We don't need that. All right, it looks all done. Now you, all you have to do to to run the plugin. Oh, and by the way, you don't need the folder anymore. Uh, you just have to restart GIMP. So you'll notice here there's no batch anything in the file menu. Now let's close GIMP and restart it. Control Alt G. I like GIMP so much that I have it hotkeyed. And if you're wondering what file system this is, it is Xubuntu or Xubuntu. Uh, I love having uh, desktops horizontally arranged and that's very easy in Xubuntu. I kind of got addicted to it, to this layout. It's the way I think now. All right, GIMP has restarted and lo and behold, we now have this batch image manipulation option in the menu. Let's test it out real quick. 
uh, here you add manipulation sets. So let's uh, let's do a resize. Mm, where's percentage? Can you resize to a pixel setting? I'll set exact pixel size width only. Perfect. So we'll make them all 800 pixels wide and it'll do a proportional site automatically. Okay. Uh, let's add images. Desktop. Flip art. All right, we added this whole, all this clip art. And I think that's it. Oh, the output. Output will be desktop. And indeed, the output files are 800 pixels wide. Oh, it didn't do a proportional. Uh, I must have said it wrong. But I think you get the idea. Allow stretching. I should have selected a preserve aspect ratio. But you get the idea. That is how you add the batch image manipulation plugin to GIMP. And now that we know how to add plugins to GIMP, you can look at all these awesome plugins. Some of them look really cool. And uh, and have fun and learn to be a little bit more powerful with uh, with our tools. Have a great day, everyone.